Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Code for Kids. How are you all? How was your day? I hope you are enjoying your day. So today we are going to create one mini project. So we can give any name to this mini project. So here as you can see I given the name as Alison mini project. So according to your choice you can give the name. So what I will do, I will first run this project. So see what you will get here. Now we need to just press up arrow, down arrow if you want to move the mouse, okay? And cat move automatically to at any random position. Only you need to move the mouse. Okay, if cat will touch to your mouse, the score will get in. Okay. So and you will get some music also. So instead of taking cat and instead of taking your mouse, we can, we can add any other sprite also. Okay. So let's start this project. How you will create this project? So first thing, we will take one new put new project. We need to just go to the file, select a new project. So first thing, we want one backdrop. So we need to just click on choose a backdrop. Whatever backdrop you want, you can add. Suppose I want to add this backdrop. You need to just click on that. You will get that here. After that, what we want, we want to add some sprite. We need to click on choose a sprite. Whatever sprite you want. You can take a battle or you can take any other sprite also. Suppose I want this cat and I want to add some other sprite which is. Suppose I want to add this dot and we will delete this. So now, as you can see, we have a two sprite here. Okay. So for this dot, what we want, like when we will press the arrow, dot has to be moved. Okay. So for that, we need to just go to the control. We will take our uh, event. We will take our arrows. So we need to take four arrow, left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, and down arrow. Okay. You need to take this four times. First, we will start from up arrow. Here, we will take down arrow. Here, we will take left arrow, then right. So now, when we will press left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow, for that, what we want? We want to move. So we will go to the motion. We will take point in direction. Now, if you will click on 90, we want to move to the upside. So we need to take our arrow. So this is our zero after that we want to go to the downside so again point in direction for down we need to take this arrow towards the down then what we want left arrow left means you need to take your arrow here which is minus 90 and for right arrow what we will do we will take in this direction. So this is our point in direction. Like when I will click on particular arrow, like a up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. So where we have to move. Okay. After that, we need to move to 10 step. Instead of 10, if you want to move fast, you can add a 20 step also. Now see what will happen. If I will press up arrow, Left arrow, down arrow, dot will move. So this is perfect. The working is perfect as you can see. So this is the coding part for our dot, which is like when we will click on up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Now we will start the cat part. For cat, what we want, when flag is clicked, automatically the cat will move at any random position. Means here the position is not fixed. 
so we need to go to event when flag is click so when flag is click so if you want to increase the score so that is our variable we need to go to the variable we will make a variable write down variable name score okay so you will get your score here so initial we want to set the score to zero so initially you will get a zero now we want to move forever means again and again okay here the things is not specified we want to move to the continuously so we will take a forever after that uh, we want to take a turn also so we will take this turn and for this turn we want a random position so we need to go to the operator we need to take this random but what position we want suppose we want to move from here to here or here to here so according to that you need to specify the value suppose i want to move like uh, from here to here okay so you need to put that value so like minus 30 to 30 and then we want to move okay now see what will happen that is moving see okay after that if that will touch to your dot okay so we need to go to the control we will take this if condition if touch so where you will get get your touch inside the sensing we will take this instead of mouse pointer we will take dot means if cat will touch to your dot what will happen we have to change our score by one means we will increase the score so here instead of my variable we will add a score after that suppose you want to start the sound so you can start the sound okay and then we have to move to the back so in uh, so as you can see move 10 step means it will move the forward but we want to come back again right so we will move to minus 100 so now see what will happen see So you will get a sound and as you can see the score is increasing right after that what will happen when flag is click we want to add one more condition when flag is click so in the forever we need to go to the control add your forever we take our point towards your mouse pointer okay it means wherever is your mouse pointer it will move to that side and now we want to move see what will happen now if my mouse is here so it is following my mouse see okay so in this way you can add any other sprite also and what you can do you can create a battle between cat and rat or mouse and cat or dog and cat or elephant or tiger like uh, you can select any other sprites also and you can create this mini project okay after that once you will create your project you need to click on share button and you need to click on copy the link you have to share this link in the comment section i will see that and i will give you some comments also okay so please create this project okay and thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon if you want more latest update thank you so much have a great day bye take care